Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to fulfill your orders on Shopify using Zendrop. It's actually pretty easy to set up, so let's go ahead and take a look. First things first, let's go ahead and move on over to the Zendrop website. So I just type in zendrop.com, which will then take you to this page. What is Zendrop exactly? Zendrop is actually one of the most popular dropshipping apps on the market right now. It has tons of useful features such as fast shipping, automated dropshipping, world-class support, US products, brand development, they have real-time analytics, custom branding, subscription boxes, and high volume sellers. And of course, everything is also actually pretty free. So you don't really have to pay anything if you want to. You just need to create your account on their website. Uh, so you can click this one, which will send you to the login page. If you already have an account on Zendrop, then you can just log in. But if you don't, you just need to sign up and fill in all this information. But we're just going to log in since I already do have an account on Zendrop. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the start your free seven day plus trial, which I'll get into in just a second. So there are actually two different plans for the free plan for Zendrop. There is the actual just free plan. Uh, you won't have to pay throughout the whole time. Or you can also do the seven day free trial, which has nine additional features with Zendrop Plus. But for this one, we're just going to want to actually make a free account, not so much do a free trial. So let's go ahead and just do that one for now, which will then take us to the last step of connecting your store to Zendrop. So to begin importing products and automating fulfillments, please provide the URL of your admin Shopify store URL below. So how do I connect to my Shopify store? Let's just click this and then it'll show us how to do that. So you just need to copy the link and then paste it onto the, this here. And so let's go ahead and do that. So we go to the tab here and we'll just copy that and paste it into here and then click connect which will then take us to this page. So there's actually multiple ways to connect your Shopify store to Zendrop. Uh, first one is uh, through the method that we just did, uh, but there's also another way, which is through the uh, app store uh, on Shopify. So we just need to click the add apps and then we'll end up here. Uh, you'll see all the different sort of apps that they have available. But we want to just click the Shopify App Store to see more, which will then take us to this page, which has all the different apps that we could use on our store. But specifically for this one, we're looking for Zendrop. So let's go ahead and do that. We can scroll through the list here if we want to, which actually is here on the list. But we can also search for it if we can't find it on this page. But for now, let's just click the button which will then take us to this page. So, and as you can see here, Zendrop has a pretty decent review. And then if we scroll a little further, we'll see the prices for the app. As for the pricing, we did mention there is a seven day free trial, but also a full free install. They have the Pro, which has $49 per month and has all these features. And then a plus, which is a $79 per month. And if you want the plus features with a little bit more, there is the seven day free trial. But for now, we're just going to try the app. So let's go ahead and add that. Click the add app here, which will take us to the install page, uh, similar to the way we did it before. This is just another way to get to this page. So now that we know multiple ways to connect Zendrop to your Shopify account, we just need to click install which will take a little bit to install here, but then eventually we'll get to the Zendrop dashboard. So if you haven't finished setting up your account, you will get this pop-up, but of course you just need to finish the rest of this and then just input that. And then you will get to the dashboard. So now we're all set up. Let's just close this. And uh, yeah, so now we have the dashboard here. Uh, which uh, let me just close uh, this, which is just the free trial. Uh, it has your fulfilled orders, your overview, and uh, yeah, so it has all the information that you would need for your 
And on the left here, we have all the different tabs that we can go into to uh, start doing our drop shipping. So here we have branding, we have bundles and boxes, AliExpress import, trendy products, Zendrop Academy, inventory, product catalog, and my products on the left side. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look and find products where you can look at your import list, your store listings and issues if you have any. But first, let's go ahead and try and find a product so we can access trending products here and uh, see the new arrivals. You can just click to import if you want to, but let's go ahead and take a look what else they have here. Let's find something that we can add to the store. So, uh, uh, oh, okay, how about this one, the travel wallet? Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. So you just need to import this to the list. I like the little feature here that uh, confirms that you have selected the item, the little check mark. So now that we have added that to our import list, we can find it on my products and then import list. And then we can just click the item here. It will take us to the uh, info page of the product itself, where you can see the price and the pictures for the, for the item. And then once you have checked that out, you can go back to your Zendrop dashboard and then go to your products. You can also review and publish. So if you want to change anything uh, on the product itself, you can do that. So here you can change the product name. So we're just going to leave that to the travel wallet uh, for now. Uh, we can also change the product type. So uh, wallet, since there's nothing here. And then for the collections, we just leave it as that. And you can either remove or override the item on the list. Then you can also change the description. So there's a lot of information here about the product. There's also the variants tab. So if you have different variants of this item, if it's different colors and other differences that it may have, it'll show here. And then for the images, you can also see all the images that are related to the product. So it has uh, these three here. So there's this one on uh, the front, the inside, and then the, I guess, the back side. And then once you are done with that, you can click publish to my store. So once you are done with that, it should show up on your on your orders page here or actually no, it's on the my products page on the store listings, which then would be seen by people who want to buy the item on your website. And that's pretty much it. So uh, hopefully this video has been of some help to you. If you like the video, click the like button and uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time.